kind of dicey there at the end. They get within two. And looked like you decided that you needed to step up a little more. Yeah, uh, we ran a couple plays to bring me off some screens, and I got loose in my man. He did a great job guarding me the whole night, uh, staying with me, staying on my hip everywhere I went. And fortunately, I just got a little bit of open space. My teammates set me good screens and uh, gave me the ball right on point. And uh, I was fortunate that they went in for me late. You guys had a, had a number of interesting stats. You hit a bunch of free throws, two turnovers. Just the best. You feel like this is probably your best performance of the season. Uh, it may be. It may be. But we know we have a uh, we have a lot of room to grow. Uh, yeah, that was great hitting our free throws, and uh, <clears throat> we're gonna have to do those kind of things to win games like this. And uh, there's still a lot of areas we got to clean up. But we got out rebounded tonight by 11, I think. And uh, to win games in this league, uh, we're not gonna be able to do that. I know we're I know we're a little undersized right now and don't have a whole lot of depth. But we're gonna have to find ways to come up with those rebounds, get in there, get scrappy. I'm gonna have to get a few more. CJ's gonna have to get a few more. But uh, getting out rebounded like that, uh, it's gonna be tough for us in the Big 12. So we got to clean up some areas. But I felt uh, overall we played pretty well tonight. The starting one and only league play does that give you any kind of momentum, or is it just one game you get a long league season? Goes? Uh, I mean, I think it does. I mean, give you momentum. It's better than being zero and one in this league. It's uh, it's tough to it's tough to get wins, so uh, you, you got to be sure you get those uh, get the ones at home. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're fortunate and excited. We're one and zero, but uh, got a lot of room to grow. Markel, what was you guys' mindset after you found that you're not going to have JP the rest of the way, and you have to kind of uh, gut it out without him? Uh, going into the Big Twelve, we knew we weren't going to have JP, so. Uh, we basically told everybody to, that they got to step it up a notch. Uh, whatever they wasn't doing before Big 12, they got to do a little bit more and uh, be more aggressive and uh, help rebound. We got to make up for that loss. How much uh, are you playing a lot of pain tonight? Because I don't think you were practicing the last few days, were you? Uh, yeah, I had a little pain, uh, but it's getting better day by day. Uh, just a little muscle that's tight on me, uh, slowing me down a little bit, but uh, it's getting better. Coach Ford's given us a couple of different descriptions. Can you kind of tell us exactly what your injury is? It's like a uh, hip bruise, like like on the side of my butt. Uh, it's like the one that you get in your thigh. Uh, I don't know how I get in my butt, but it hurt bad, and it's keeping my keeping me from extending my leg from running. But it's it's getting better. Uh, I've been uh, working a lot uh, with the trainer, and uh, we're getting back on track. I don't help him out at the apartment at all. Like no. he asked me for treatment, no I tell him strict, strictly Jason's job. <laughs> Merrick played pretty well tonight. Did you kind of sense that in practice as he progressed? Yeah, I've been uh, really proud of Merrick uh, the past past month. He's been getting uh, he's been getting better every day and challenging uh, challenging Philip, Mike, all those guys in practice every day. And he's been coming up with huge plays in practice, and his confidence is just uh, just rising every, each and every day. So for him to get out there tonight and hit a big three for us and get a couple stops and get some rebounds and just as active as he was tonight. Uh, I was real impressed with Mark, and uh, he's gonna have to he's gonna keep playing like that the rest of the Big 12 and uh, give us big minutes. He's willing to do some little things too, and he looks like he sets good screens out up top. You know, mm. it's things maybe that you typically you know, we kind of have this idea of what the European guys are mm. like, but it seems like he's got a lot of those fundamentals and a lot of those skills. Yeah, he does, and he's uh, he's one of the most unselfish players I've ever played with. Uh, he's willing he's willing to get on the floor for a for a ball, go set his go set a million screens and in, in one possession down on the floor and. Uh, he knows. He knows. He's just gonna have to work extremely hard out there, and that's what he does every single day in practice. And it translated over on the court tonight, and he gave it everything he had. And uh, we're extremely proud of Mark right now. How about when he hit that three? That was probably the loudest your bench was all game. <laughs> yeah, that was a big three for Mark. Uh, but when he shot it, uh, like he said, uh, working in practice, uh, he'd been getting a lot of confidence, and uh, he'd been shooting a lot in practice. So I kind of figured it was gonna go down for him. Talk about the way that sorry, LB played in the first game. Uh, he played. He played like a, a top player, like he's supposed to play. Uh, if he can come out and do that for us every night, uh, we can have a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of chance to be a lot of teams in this league. Uh, we we like the way he played, but he also can uh, do other things to help us as far as rebounding and uh, stops on defense. Keaton, when you moved to the point, the concern was it may take away from your scoring. And in three games at the point, 27, 21, 23. Yeah, uh, I mean, we've been pushing the ball a little bit more. Coach Ford's putting some different offenses, uh, setting back screens, coming off down screens. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, late in the game and uh, in these offenses, my teammates have just been doing great jobs of setting me screens and uh, hitting, me off, uh, hitting me off curls uh, right, when, right when I have a little bit of space. And uh, it's been working out for us the last couple of games. Last couple of questions for these guys so we can quickly. This tech came back in the second half. Did you notice it was X and O type changes for them defensively, or was it just sort of a, a Kind of a ramp up in intensity on their end. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, they they upped their intensity a little bit, and uh, we lowered ours. Coach talked to us at halftime and told us that they were going to come out and be a little bit more aggressive on offense, shoot a little quicker. Uh, that we're going to have to bring the same intensity we had the first half, and uh, unfortunately we let it we let it down a little bit, and they came down hit some big shots and got them back in the game. But 
<coughs> we were fortunate enough we stick together at the end of the game and uh, came up with some big plays. Got a couple loose balls off the ground. Got a couple rebounds that we needed and uh, pulled off the win. Last question. I mean, that was the last question. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it.